Hello everyone, uh, I will show you how to configure DNS proxy on Palo Alto. So actually DNS proxy is just uh, acting as a local DNS server in our network. In my topology, I have one Palo Alto firewall and one Windows machine that I'm going to use for this uh, testing purpose. Everything else you can ignore is not uh, related to it. So at the moment if you go to the Palo Alto you have uh, DHCP which I have pre-configured not to lose time and the uh, internet one slash two and this is the DN uh, DHCP it give you 10 10 1 10 to uh, dot 150 if you see here the primary DNS is configured as a 101011, which in our case is this one 101011 is the interface, which is here same. That's that the interface 101011 um, is here. So at the moment, if I try to ping or do something, uh, there is no DNS at all. Uh, as a DHCP is giving this so if we configure something uh, quickly let's say I can say in kernel let's say I give it 8888 uh, and I just say I need to choose in which interface uh, from which interface that traffic will come for the for the DNS to work so in our case uh, one slash two so which means every time if the traffic comes from one slash two you know dns will hit that dns proxy uh, dns proxy in this configuration here so if i leave this empty now and let's say if i commit while this committing for example i can go to that pc and i can do uh let's say Ping google.com and probably is not gonna work because there is no DNS server. So I cannot recognize if I do ping 8888. You can see there is internet but there is no DNS. So once this one is uh, committed now we should have uh, pingu.com should work now you can see now our uh, actually DNS is uh, and Google even though uh, on the PC itself we will say is 10 10 1 1 uh, so what is the how dns proxy works for example we have uh, two options we can do for example here when we have dns proxy rules if you add this we can say um we can do uh, let's say i have a device in my ne local network that have a local dns and let's say i'll say in internal uh, my domain is techcrappy.internal that's just a name basically ah. so here I can say everything that's been star dot dot internal and I want to send to this IP address which is this is my my local DNS basically so what will happen now if I try to ping um, pc dot dot internal it's not gonna it can't resolve it but if I do let's say by IP 
Sixty eight and eighty six. Yep, so I can I can ping that uh, that device. Now it doesn't because obviously my DNS is Google and it cannot resolve it. So this is done now. So if I do again this, so you can see pinging PC techfrappy dot internal. Uh, I can resolve it. So what this one does exactly, it says uh, if you see any name with something dot internal, use my local uh, DNS server. Otherwise, use uh, Google. Other option you can do is, let's say, um, we can say, just give us a name internal again let's say uh, fqdn to be let's say internal internal dot uh, dot tech therapy dot com in this case uh, i can give my ip address from 10.10.1.1 which is my uh, interface one slash two and uh, let's say say okay now this is for stuff it's static so now this one acting uh is not going to my local dns server now the firewall itself will be my local dns server otherwise if i go to my other pc any anything else you cannot resolve it but now after the commit we should be able to to resolve this if I do ping internal you can see now it's resolving even though when we do uh, static we can also do uh, it work as a reverse DNS so if we do ping a one Ten one six. Okay, maybe a second. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Should be ten dot ten dot one dot one. And you can see he's doing internal here. So that means he's doing uh, reverse DNS as well. So hopefully uh that might help you guys you need to use it if you have any questions please uh, add it to the comment below i can try to help and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my content thank you very much